What's up guys? We are about to see how this here uh, guitar lesson is going to go because this is a very impromptu video brought to you by a comment on a short that I found last night. The guy had actually commented on it three or four days ago and I just seen it last night and he asked me, he said, can you do a, a guitar lesson on this song? And I was like, well, I'll get on it after work today and here we are. Um, I would first like to preface this by saying I'm not a guitar teacher by any means, so there might be some stuff I'm not explaining as well as I should, and I do apologize for in advance for that, and if it is, please let me know, and I will try to reiterate that particular part of the song or whatever it is that I'm not explaining very well. So, for starters, um, this was requested by a guy named David... Gramillion, I think that's how you say his last name. Don't come after me for saying that wrong. If I did, I do apologize. But, um, David, this is for you. And first thing you need is a guitar, and you're going to tune it a half step down. And I'm going to take it as you're really just starting out. If you're not, you already know what to do. Cool. But if you are starting out, this is how you're going to do it. You want to take your little tuner here. I've got one right there but uh and like i said this one's already tuned but you're going to take uh each string and you're going to tune it down a half step so instead of being e a d g b and e you're going to be e flat a flat d flat g flat b flat and e flat And if you actually get on the uh, Ultimate Guitar website, it tells you two and a half step down and like capo five, I think. But I found this way to be a lot better for me. And so this is the way I'm going to teach it. And so we're going to see what happens. Okay, so the chords you will need in this song are going to be an A minor. Hey, baby, how are you? Yes, I, yes, I'm doing the video right now. It's okay. Um, the chords you're going to need is an A minor. Sounds like that. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first finger, put it on the first fret of the B string, and you're going to take your middle finger. I'm not going to flip nobody off. So that's why I'm doing this. But your middle finger, put it on this uh, second fret of the D string, and your ring finger, put it on the second fret of the G string. And it sounds like this. And you're only going to strum from your A string down. Then you're going to need a D chord, which sounds like this. And then what you're going to do is take your pointer finger, put it on your second fret G string, then you're going to take your middle finger, put it on your second fret high E string, and your ring finger, put it on your third fret B string. Then you're going to need a regular A chord, and there's many different ways you can do it. You can do it like this, you can do it like this, you can do it like this. I learn with just a standard bar. So that's how I'm going to teach it. But there's a million ways you can play that chord. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your first finger and bar it across your D, G, and B string on the second fret. And when you do that, you actually wind up muting this high E string right there. And that's really what you want to do. And it sounds like that. If you can't do that and you have to do it like that or like this, it's fine. It's just easier for me to bar it. But no matter if you bar it or play it like this, it's all going to be second fret D, G, and B strings. So no matter if you do it like that or just bar it. And you will play from the E string down. Then you're going to need a C chord. But you're actually going to use, in this song, you're going to use power chords for these next two chords. 
So you're going to need a C power chord, which is first finger, third fret of your A string. And I take my pinky a lot of times and do it, or you can use your ring finger. But I take, for example, we're just going to say pinky finger. And then you're going to bar across the D, G, and B string uh, on the fifth fret. And yes, that is basically just an A chord, but on the fifth fret. And what you're doing is you're adding that bass note, which is right here on your third fret of your A string, which is C. And once again, play from the A string down. And you'll really wind up muting that high E string away as well. And the next one is a B chord, and you're going to do the exact same thing you did with this C power chord right here. But instead of on three and the third and fifth fret, you're going to move it up to the second and fourth fret. And then uh, the last chord you're going to need is a G chord. And you can, I guess, if you wanted to do a power chord on it. And technically, the way I do it, it is kind of a power chord. It's kind of like that ACDC G. But I do it like this a lot of times with my first finger off. And that's where you get that ACDC power chord from. But what you're going to do is you want to take your middle finger, third fret on your low E string, pointer finger, second fret on your A string, then you're going to take your bottom two fingers and put them on the third fret of the uh, B and high E string. And this chord sounds like that. Now, there are some variations in the verse, which I will get to when I actually start. And the strumming pattern is different in the verse and in the chorus, and I will explain the chorus strumming pattern when I get to that part. Okay, so first, you're going to start out on this A minor for your verse, or technically the intro, if you want to call it. You just... You're going to do that. So the strumming pattern for the verse is down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And I'll explain that right here. So, okay, on your, uh, without the variations, this is what it would sound like. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Now, for these little variations in the verse, what you're going to do is after you do your first down, down, up, up, down, up, you're going to take your first finger off, okay? So then you're going to get this A sus 2 chord, I believe is the name of it. Then what you're going to do is you're going, after you go through the strumming pattern one time with that, you're going to put your first finger back down and take off your ring finger so you get this A minor 7. And then back to your A sus 2. Okay, so that's the variation part of the uh, verse. So now I'm going to run through... Uh, the verse section, or one of them, goes like this. And then you're gonna go to a D chord. be back to your A minor. Now I did kind of hang on that A minor a little bit longer than the actual song but if you're playing along with the song you'll hear when to switch. And on the D chord variations I haven't actually got them down to a science yet. 
as opposed to like what's actually the variations in the song. But what I'll do is I'll normally uh, take uh, run through the strumming pattern once on a regular D. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Take off my ring of uh, middle finger. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then I'll add on my pinky finger to the third fret of this high E. And then back to a D. And now we are to the course. And like I said, here's where it gets tricky. The course is actually the easiest part, but the strumming pattern, there's two different sections of the strumming pattern, or three technically. Okay, so for the first three measures, you're gonna be going like this. Now, I just completely screwed that up because I said the first three measures and I just played the whole course. And one, I apologize once again, I'm not a guitar teacher by any means. So, first three times, D to A. The strumming pattern for that is down, down, up on your D, okay? So, every time you hit that D, it's down, 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 up. And then you're going to switch to your A chord and you're going to go up, down, 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 up. So, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay? You're going to do that three times. Then here comes that power chord part. And if you play your A this way, it might be a little tricky for you. That's why I highly encourage you to use your bar chord or the bar for the A because you're just going to make it so much easier. Because what you're going to do is go. And what that is, is you're going on the C power chord, you're going down, down, up. Okay, just down, down, up. Then you're going to move it to that B power chord and do the same thing. Down, down, up. Then you're going to pause for a split second. So. And you're going to, on that A, you're going to go up, down, down. Okay, so that part is going to sound like this. And then you're back to two more D to A's, and the strumming pattern is still the same, so down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay, and like I said, you're gonna do that twice after you do your your power chord thing, your C, your C, D to A. You're gonna do that twice. And you're gonna go hit your G chord once. And then you're gonna come hit a D chord once. And then you will be back into your verse. And then I think it goes through a chorus again. And then it goes to a verse again, I think. And then the solo. Uh, the solo is the first half of the course. So it's the solo is this part. back into what is the last verse slash outro of the song, which is still just your. That, 
and you're going to end, like I said, on your A minor. So, I hope that helped, David. Sorry, once again, I'm not a guitar teacher, and this is the first YouTube video I've made in probably a year and a half, if not closer to two years. And like I said, this was a very impromptu video, but I just wanted to get it out to you as quickly as possible because of the fact that I did miss the actual comment that you made, and I found it, like I said, last night. So, like I said, if there's anything that you need need help with and that goes for anybody not just david anything you need help with in this song feel free to comment dm me whatever you have to do to reach me and i will help you out with it and uh yeah that pretty much wraps it up so if there is any other song you guys want me to cover or do a lesson on please comment it down below and let me know and i will do my best to get to it until next time, guys, thank y'all. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll get this YouTube thing rolling again. Who knows? Later, y'all.